This town is considered to be one of the most beautiful places here in Morocco. I'd say in the whole of Africa and Europe. And there's only two other places like this in the world. Thousands of people flock the beautiful blue streets of this town to get a view of this. You guessed it! We're in Chefchouan! place like Chef Show One, you want to walk away with enough pictures and videos to light up all your social media pages. But how do you get all those pictures in one day and beating the crowds? Especially when you've got this little one to look after as well. You little cheeky cheeky. <laughs> well, that's where this video will help. Make sure you stick around till the end because we're going to give you a tour around this town and show you all the best spots. And all in one day. But first, I am thirsty and I need to get myself an like, orange juice. We are here, hello. Hi. Orange juice fresh. <laughs> Sayyid Ayashwan. Yes, hashtag Sayyid Jusselam. All right. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Yes, the orange juice fresh. Fresh orange juice right there. Beautiful, look at that. And your name is? Uh... Sayyid. Sayyid is such a lovely guy, honestly. He's got a beautiful setup right by his stall, filled with oranges to make the perfect Instagram picture. And this orange juice, oh my god, it's absolutely, it's like a fruit from heaven. <laughs> you want to try the kriya? Mm. Bismillah. Mm. Mm. Now kids, nice? kids never lie guys, so let's see. <laughs> see, you <loved> it. See? <laughs> mm. Oh, I leave a little drink. Mm. Mm. Is that delicious, Bobo? Yeah. Yeah, it's delicious, isn't it? One cup of juice is 15 dirhams, which is good, but you also get the opportunity to take some really, really amazing pictures for your Instagram and social media. So it's definitely worth stopping by here and having <laughs> a juice and a, and a picture. We're saying. <laughs> you know it's fresh when the juice starts separating like this, right? Let's give it a little mix up. Bismillah. Oh yeah, these oranges, man, they hit differently here. Mm-mm-mm. Delicious. This is this is perfect orange juice, guys. This is how I love it. I think it's a Kenyan one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. On first impressions, guys, I have to say, every person that we've met so far here in the Chef Shawan have been so polite and so lovely. Everyone says hello. Everyone says hello. hello. All smiles all around. And of course, Zakaria is the star of the show once again, getting all the people's attention. Oh. Mm. There you go. Big gulp, big gulp, there you go, a little bit more. Yeah! <laughs> I tell you what, you don't need to go to the gym when you're here. All these steps, work out, done. <laughs> Shawan, which is how it's pronounced or shortened by Shawan, actually means look to the mountain in Berber. Fun fact! Hey bro, we back! Zikiria. 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 They are famous with the... <laughs> with <laughs> us. Yeah, yeah? Oh, he wants good! Hey, say what do you say? This is Chef. Hey, what do you say? Oh, Allah, yeah? Saha <laughs> the price we just come is across this amazing hat. shop Live which is selling money. hats and the owner of this hat shop is yeah. so on it literally it says you can take any hat you like it's 50 dirhams per hat and then you put the money here on the store that really just goes to show how safe a town like Chef Shawan is like you never hear of honesty shops anymore I mean they're like from the 50s and 60s but over here it's still going strong we've arrived at this spot here this is the only spot in the whole of Chef Shawan that you have to pay five dirhams for this is the honor of the place Assalamu alaikum Alaikum salam Mashallah this is very beautiful Wow! This is amazing! Look at this place, man! Feels like we're in a fairy tale land. This is like something out of like Narnia or somewhere like that, you know. This is proper like. I'm expecting like little fairy to fly out of here somewhere, you know. I am gonna wear the Kriya's hat today because I think I look cool in the blue city. 
But you know what, Erfan is actually itching for this hike. He's waiting, he's like, I'm not going to the gym since being in Morocco. Yep, it's been uh, seven, eight, eight days now, no gym. We've done walking, but that's about it. <laughs> and we've been eating tagines, we've been eating cakes, McDonald's. McDonald's. It's time to burn this off. So now we are doing a 30 minute hike. You have to go through the town and hopefully we'll get an epic view of the whole city from above. I am so excited to show you this view. An interesting fact about Chef Shawan is that as you travel north in Morocco, you're getting closer and closer to Spain. And Chef Shawan is actually very close to Spain, so the people that are here prefer to speak Spanish than French. And the reason for that is the original inhabitants migrated from Andalus, which is south of Spain. So it kind of makes sense why a lot of the people here as well look Spanish as well. And if you look around the street names, you've got them in Arabic and you've got them in Spanish, as opposed to Arabic and French when you go down south of Morocco. Literally every corner you turn in this blue city, literally an Instagram moment right there. Oranges and a fountain. You can't go wrong. Whoa! <laughs> and a peacock! <laughs> you okay, Afan? This is when I feel at home. Putting my body through some strenuous efforts. Wow, that look cool. at that. Five minutes into a hike. The blood is pumping and I am slightly getting out of breath. Erfan is a legend as always. Those McDonald's are kicking in right now. Yeah, and this is harder than it was a few months ago. Oh, Zakaria, how is it for you? Um, how is it for you, Zakaria? I like the view. You're my best view. You're my best view. Yeah. <laughs> We decided not to hike right up to the Spanish mosque because sunset is upon us now and if we went all the way to the top we probably would have ended up in the dark. We've decided to stop here by this beautiful viewpoint which is I'd say about three quarters of the way of the hike so we still did really really good. We're just taking in the amazing beautiful views here. Look at that. Look at that. Zakaria is having a great time. Zakaria is absolutely loving <laughs> His height and the view. Hey, Zacharias! Zacharias is old enough now to hike his own hike. Yeah. He doesn't need to be carried. That day anymore. has come now. My dad always says to me, I watch your videos and you're always carrying Zacharia. Well, not anymore, daddy. <laughs> so you have to know, like in the beginning, she's shown it wasn't blue as you see, right? Oh, yeah. Like there, because here from here, you can see there's a different color. It's a brown color, as you see. You can see with me here the blue color. Yeah. The blue with the brown color, you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So usually the, the brown color is the original and the blue just wasn't in windows for decoration because people they don't have a lot of money to waste it in the whole city. They can make it only in the windows for decoration. And the blue is means sky and also we have a water here. It's like natural mm. color and also we bring this color from the rocks is a blue rocks okay and then as i told you people they didn't have a lot, a lot of money to waste it on all the city they can only put it like in the windows for decoration because when we was exploring the city we see a lot of nice spots yeah yeah, yeah 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 so but what's happened when the city started getting some money people start covering the brown color with a white yeah and there's a reason because as you see here the sunset is very fast yeah but when the sun shining in the white color is make more bright Ah, and yes. then they put the blue down yeah. and then you have to know like day by day the city start grow up because of the social media yeah. so she shown get famous in 2016 exactly so 2016. before yeah 16, exactly yeah and actually now it's become one of celebration colors now if we have some celebration like ramadan or some like wedding or like some party people like painting the blue <sighs> this is actually the reason so, Go but ahead. before they say like mosquitoes. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. But actually, this is not, not right because if you see here, we have a river. Yeah. So that means is the water is moving. Yeah. There's no way for the mosquitoes. That's true. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So actually, this is the reason of the blue. Mm, yeah. Okay, yeah. interesting. Okay, yeah. that's good. So guys, we did say at the start of the video, we're going to share with you how you get those amazing, famous Insta pictures. And the videos all in one day <laughs> and have all three of us in the video shot. So who was taking the pictures and videos? You might be asking. It was these guys! <laughs> We've got Simo and Khaled. Khaled yeah, Khaled these two have welcome. been amazing. Welcome to the Blue City. Thank you very much. Welcome guys. 
Habibi, come to Shab Shaba. So these guys have been walking us around today, showing us all the best spots, all the amazing places where you can get the perfect pictures, the perfect videos. All the angles, they know how to do all the shots. They're very experienced. These boys, honestly, not only are they so lovely, but they are actually amazing as well. And very, very knowledgeable about the history behind Chef Shawan. So you guys, you can follow them on Instagram and TikTok. It's love underscore Chef Shawan. Click the handle here. here. Right here. On that note, guys, we've had a fantastic day here touring this beautiful city of Chef Shawan. We are going to end the vlog. We hope you enjoyed the tour with us. And remember, guys, follow your visions and we'll... Take it easy. See you on the next one. See you on the next one. Yeah. See you in the next one. Yeah, <laughs> look at my hat. It's blue like the blue city. <laughs>